So right now, <clears throat> I had to get up and fix my babies some breakfast. Um, my whole body is sore right now. My kids woke up on 10. So <laughs> having to be a mom and go through this quarantine with them has, is challenging. This is only day two. I got my results back yesterday, but I've been having um, symptoms since Tuesday. So um, it won't be lifted until the fourth that we um, I'm no longer contagious. I've been wearing my mask around the house because I don't want to give this to my kids, obviously. And I'm hoping that they don't have it already. And I'm just really out of breath. My whole body is just really sore. Yesterday I felt better, but today I just woke up and I feel back to like not feeling good. So um, I also can't smell and taste. So that's a, one of the big downers because my appetite is not the same. So after these 14 days, I probably will have lost a significant amount of weight. But that's where I'm at, being a mom while trying to, uh, while having COVID basically is not. <laughs> Y'all see my hair, y'all see everything. Like, it's just not fun. I don't know why my body is sore. I don't know why that is a symptom of COVID, but it is. And um, when I start to feel better, I'll be able to clean up and get myself dressed and stuff like that and make a video about it more in depth. But yeah, I'll just pray for you, girl. I'm out of breath now. I don't talk too much. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next update. Hey, what's up, you guys? So I am back, finally. Um, I had... COVID-19 and I am still like suffering the effects of COVID-19. Um, I'm going into my third week, second and a half, third week, but um, I am no longer contagious or anything like that. I still have no taste and no smell. I can taste, but it's just like, if it's sweet, if it's salty, if it's bitter, that's what I can taste. I can't actually taste the you know how food used to taste and i don't know how long it's gonna take i don't know how, how long like this is gonna last i still like break out in like uh, a sweat doing tasks that aren't that you know that much i still break out in sweat like all over like i just ran 10 laps around the le uh the block so let me tell you about my experience before i get into all the other stuff <sighs> i was eating and I had no taste and I could not smell so I would just have like a funny smell in my nose I could smell this funny smell in my nose but I, I just thought it was like a nasal uh, sinus infection so I went in to get my allergy shots had my mask on and then I asked my the nurse that get, gives me my allergy shots every um week because I get allergy shots, I, I'm allergic to uh, a lot of environmental things like dust mites and stuff I have no control over. So I have to go in every week and get two shots on my arms. And it's connected to a primary um, care doctor and an urgent care. And then the hospital is like right across the street from there. So I asked the nurse, I said, um, do you guys have you know, a nurse or a doctor on hand, she told me that, the, you know, where the offices were. And so I just said, F it, I'm going to the ER <laughs> because something is not right with me. I didn't tell her that because I didn't want to freak her out or whatever, but I just went to the ER. I told them um, that it could be a possible sinus infection, but I can't taste or smell. And so they got me back there. They asked me all the questions and then two of the doctors that were there came in and that's when i started noticing like this is serious this is this 
this might be something else. <laughs> she, what she basically told me was it's either COVID-19 or it's either a sinus infection. But usually sinus infections don't have like um, the no taste thing going on with it. I mean, if you have a cold or something, you're not going to be able to taste that good. But you can't taste anything, like nothing. I said, I said, no, I can't taste anything. <laughs> And so she was like, you want to get tested because you don't want to, you know, um, unknowingly infect other people. And I said, you're right, you're right. Even though I didn't want to get tested. I said, you're right. I sucked it up and I got tested. Let me tell you, she walked in with a cotton swab that was this big. I said, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I said, wait, I'm scared, I'm scared. And she started laughing. I was like, I'm serious. I do not. No, no ma'am. No, ma'am, you're not sticking it up my nose. And, and you gotta do both of them? Girl, I almost had a heart attack. If y'all had anything, it's my washing machine in the back. And I look like a, a bum, but you know, I, I'm still suffering the side effects of COVID. So just just bear with me. I'm about to get back on my video tip. This ring light right here is real hot. I, I'm, I'm about to start sweating. Like <laughs> I feel like it's time to get back to work, but my body is like, girl, lay down, go to sleep. But anyway, she came in my room with that big ass, with that big ass Q-tip. This is long. Like, girl, I know you ain't about to stick that up all the way up my nose and, and go back with it or something like that. And it wasn't like that at all. So usually people say that it sticks and they, they stick it up and then you can feel it go back. That's kind of true, but it was like over so quick. It was over so quick that I didn't, you know, it felt like. For like a couple minutes though but <laughs> it's just a fear of seeing that big q-tip about to go inside up, up up inside of there where stuff is not supposed to be yet but <laughs> that's what really just psyched me out and when i tell you when she stuck it up my first note uh, i was doing good i was like because i breathed in a little bit or whatever <laughs> and closed my eyes and then she had to uh go back out and stick it in the other i said you gotta stick it in the other one so she said yes so she stuck it up in there and that's when i grabbed her arm <laughs> I grabbed this lady arm like like a bear like like I just had a tight grip and I told her I apologize. <laughs> when she left the room, I was like, I'm sorry for grabbing your arm. She was like, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> when I say I had a tight grip, the grip was tight. <laughs> so um yeah. <sighs> I was just so glad that was over. And shout out to them for dealing with all these patients with COVID and stuff and you know being up in there because i'll be paranoid you feel me like <laughs> girl put your mask on what you doing up in here like i i would have gloves on and everything she was real cool real nice and um she told me not to go back to work because i had to go back to work that day and i was like should i go back to work and she was like uh no <laughs> you can't taste you can't smell and you just had a covid test just just go home so i test my boss i told her i just had the test or whatever and uh it'll be back the next day so <laughs> i you know what i did i went home and i looked on youtube like that's where i messed up <laughs> because I, I got to the people that was in the covid icu and i was just like oh my god like and people always say it's gonna be get worse before it gets better and i'm like this is already like dreadful like <laughs> it's gonna get worse than this like i was just paranoid i was just like oh my god what if i go to the hospital i'm in the hospital i got my kids by myself they got a quarantine with me because they've been around me like they what how am i gonna take care of them and take care of me and take like watch them and what they're doing and while i'm sick and in bed and just dying <laughs> like my mom was just all over the place and it was just not a good feeling at all like i was crying every day i was just like what do i do like i have just me and I'm used to it just being me, like, taking care of my kids or whatever. Like, nine times out of ten, it's just me doing everything. Taking care of a three-bedroom household with my kids and me and laundry and cleaning and working and doing all this on the daily. That's just me. I have to do it. Nobody is here. No man is here. No Nobody is here to help me with nothing. But now that I'm going through COVID, it, it really, really hit me. Like, dang, I'm by myself, by myself. Like... <laughs> really by myself like so um i was just i woke up at like 6 a.m the next morning and yeah of course i was texting 
my mom and texting everybody online like what does detected mean anyways i got too hot y'all but i was just in denial like what does detected mean i got the hospital i was like because it was kind of hard to read i'm gonna put it the picture up here so y'all can see um she said it just means not detected or detected so whatever is up there is up there and then i said okay it says detected so that's when i had to come to terms with it and i was just like all right i have it duh i'm just in denial and then the cdc contacted me and was like uh good morning your covid test has come back positive <laughs> and then they just tell me everything to do stay in the house for 10 days anybody that has been around you they need to quarantine with you so my kids and I was like, oh my God, 10 days in the house. What are we going to do? Who am I going to call? Like, who's going to help me? Like, how am I going to get through this basically by myself? So that's basically what I was worried about my kids. Like, I was worried about me too, because it's COVID-19. It's really serious. But then in the back of my head, I'm like, my kids. Like, <laughs> and they were just running around acting crazy. Their normal self. They never got sick, never coughed, never... Like, never did nothing. Like, I, I kept my mask on when I, um, after I had got my test at the hospital, I picked them up, I had my mask on, and I was just like, anytime I was around them, I had my mask on. Anytime I went out to go cook for them or anything like that, cause I had to cook. They, they love to eat. They eat about 20 times a day. I had to keep getting up with this COVID and cooking for them and just make sure they weren't doing anything crazy. It was just a roller coaster, but. <laughs> I will insert clips of everything and um of how that went <laughs> it was crazy so yeah the cdc contacted me they called me asked me what my symptoms were and told me to stay home and you know all the good stuff that comes with it so it's time to quarantine and i of course contacted my boss and she was like oh no da, 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 da. and so she told me let her know any updates and all that good stuff so my 10 days started and let me tell you I thought I was going to be chilling in the bed at home, you know, getting better or whatever. And it was like complete opposite. So my symptoms were obviously no taste, no smell. That was like my first one. And it was just like this, this crazy smell in my nose. Like that's why I thought it was like a sinus infection, but it was just like a weird smell in my nose and it was very strong. <laughs> and then, um, the no taste. And that was horrible because my appetite was diminishing and I love to eat. Like <laughs> I'm trying to lose a couple pounds now because I love to eat. And it was just so horrible. Like wanting to eat and then not being able to taste anything. Like I went to Zaxby's, got a salad. It was about to be bomb. I knew it was bomb while I was eating it, but I was like, I can't taste anything. <laughs> and I thought about doing the uh, TikTok challenges where you eat like crazy things and stuff like that but i didn't have anybody go to the grocery store for me um <laughs> and get those things but my mom came in clutch of course she freaked out and she was like oh my gosh she's calling me like every day and <laughs> yeah bring the bags in we'll bring these in here uh, what's that bacon she got y'all some bacon yeah and she has hot dog oh, she did. So, uh, I mean, when you feel like you can't catch your breath, it's a horrible feeling. Look, When you feel like you can't even catch your breath, you're struggling to get a breath. Look, mommy. Look, I am on this mine. My mom bought me this <clears throat> oil of oregano. She said it was like $30. Look! That day is. But yeah. That's Tell me good. you can put it in a drop of water bottle. In the water That's bottle. Uh -huh. Trying to bring that water uh -huh. in. That's that shit is just crazy. But, um. Yeah, yeah. Definitely thankful to have family and friends drop stuff off. Because we can't go anywhere. I was just, I just want to tell her I'm fine. Like, I know it's COVID, but I'll get through it. You feel me? Like, my symptoms were, like, not hospital 
uh bad like i couldn't breathe i mean i couldn't breathe but it was i knew i could get over it because i was able to get up and uh service my kids so i was like okay i'm fine but everybody is around me like freaking out um so <laughs> Let me answer her calls because usually, like, I'm an antisocial person. I don't like to talk to people. I, I don't like to be around people for too long. But, um, yeah, I had to answer her calls because, you know, my mom, she, she that's my mom. So, she uh, came all the way from my hometown, which is, like, 45 minutes away, just to go to the store. And she grabbed me a whole bunch of food for the kids because I'm like, I can't taste anything. I can't eat anything just make sure the kids are straight so she did that she got them like 10 packs of bacon because every morning this is our routine we would wake up eat bacon and uh <laughs> and some fruit i would cook bacon and some fruit for them and then they would get hungry get a little snack and then they would get the midday meal and then i would have to give them a little snack and then i would have to get up at nighttime and cook them dinner so i said just get hamburgers hot dogs bacon and <laughs> and some fruit a lot of fruit and so she did that and she also got me uh disinfectant she got me this she was like spray the house down this is almost empty because i'm still spraying the house down because i'm still paranoid <laughs> um but she brought me disinfectant she brought me tissue she bought me uh this uh oil of oregano i don't know if you guys can see it it's not gonna focus there it is oil of oregano the top came off but um yeah she told me this thing right here was like thirty dollars for this little bottle uh it's like a little dropper um i took a water bottle and i just uh dropped a couple drops in a water bottle and i drank that every day and let me tell you this is really what helped me this is really what helped me get back to life <laughs> um i had started smelling a little bit because it's got like a little pizza pizza smelling I don't know. It smells like a little, like a little like pizza, and um, that's what really got me through. And also, I took, I had two water bottles every day, and I filled one of them up that with the oil of oregano, and the other one up with the uh, liquid chlorophyll. I had this at home already, and this turns green. My fingers probably green. Yeah, green. It turns green uh, when it hits the water. I drank that whole. Water. I'm taking my water bottle. I haven't ate anything today. I don't have an appetite at all. I can't taste anything. So <clears throat> I got this bowl of oregano uh, water bottle. My mom said just a free jar, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in. <laughs> I'll put the whole thing in it. I haven't ate anything though, so I wonder if I'm messing up. But I'm gonna drink this whole bottle because I can't taste anything. And I have another bottle. And I have chlorophyll. So. I'm just going to put a couple drops on there. It always turns my finger green. Turn the water green. So I'm going to drink both of these. <clears throat> and then uh, my mom also got me a lot of garlic. And since I don't have any taste, I'm just gonna. Is this supposed to be red? Hold on, okay. So I'm just gonna crack it open. I can't taste anything anymore. I can't taste it. It's hella spicy. So. This is hot. You can taste the hotness. After that, I started feeling better. It was like day seven, seven or eight. And I was still like very tired. Like I couldn't get up to see what my kids were doing. Like, okay, let's see what Cassie did. So. If they were hungry, I made myself get up because you know I wasn't gonna let them, you know, be hungry or whatever. The bacon is cooking, okay. Hmm? Bacon is cooking, okay. Back up. Oh, 
So I'm trying to have them be six feet apart from me, but my kids don't know what space means. They don't know. <laughs> so it's kind of hard having them to stay away from me. They don't understand. Um, but I've been telling them mommy is sick and I don't want you to get it. So if it was up to me, I'd have them wear their mask too. But, you know, kids don't, they don't want to do that. <clears throat> so I'm cooking some bacon now. And um, I had set my timer because usually I can smell when the bacon is like cooking and it's about to be done or when it's burning. But I can't smell anything. So I'm going to stay in the kitchen just to make sure that I don't cause a house fire because I wouldn't be able to smell anything burning or anything like that anyways so that's just a little update I'll be back if I have any other updates for you guys of what I'm going through and I made sure they had movies and you know Hulu and Disney plus on and stuff like that so I was just doing my best <laughs> and <laughs> Everybody was just texting and calling me and I was just like dying in the bed. Like I was just so tired and my body ached all over. Like when I tell you, like my arm was like aching, like my stomach, my back, everything was like body aches all over. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? Why is this happening? <laughs> headache on 10. Like I couldn't even move my eyes side to side. Like that's how bad my headaches was. I was popping ibuprofen like crazy, like three or four of them. Now, don't 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 do what I did because I don't know how it'll affect you. But I was popping ibuprofen like crazy because the headaches were something crazy, and I was just sweating like I was just lethargic, fatigued, like couldn't get up, like just <sighs> my nose was just a hot mess. I didn't have any um like sore throats or anything like that. Thank God because I hate having a sore throat and like swallow like swallowing spit and your throat hurts. I didn't have any of that. It was just all up in my nose. And so <laughs> you have to keep your nose covered when you got your mask on. Okay. So that's that's just one on one. Like I couldn't breathe in my mask. So I would like always drop the mask down so I could breathe a little bit, <laughs> get a little fresh air. But I regret that because I I caught COVID. So um I think what I, how I really caught it is I went to the bar, like, it was the weekend right before that. So, um, yeah, it was like Saturday. And then I started feeling those symptoms Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> and I went to the doctor Thursday. So I'm like, I went to work and I was around people and stuff Wednesday. So I'm like paranoid. I'm telling everybody like, y'all, you know, I got COVID. <laughs> like, I'm not going to keep it a secret. What am I, um... One of my people that I know, they had COVID and they didn't want to tell anybody. And they were still going out and stuff like that. No masks or nothing. And I was like, oh my God, like, that's probably how I got it. Like, I wasn't around that person, but I'm saying like, people out here really don't, aren't taking it seriously. Like, still not wearing their mask, still not doing nothing. But now people are getting vaccinations, so they don't have to wear their mask. And I'm like kind of jealous because I don't want to wear a mask anymore, but I have to because I don't got the vaccination yet. <laughs> and I really been thinking about it, but I really don't know what's like, I haven't done my research. I don't know what's inside of it. So kind of scared for that. My mom and the grandma also brought me a gift. They got me some cards and stuff. I felt like I was like really dying, like something, <laughs> something really bad was gonna happen. But at the time, that's what it feels like. Uh, my grandma, she wrote me this card, and I can't even read cursive, but I was reading it to like the best of my ability. And she was just telling me to um, read the Bible to my babies, read them scriptures every day, and. Uh, she thinks that I'm a great mother of my two and that I do good with them. And she brought me a new Bible, King James Version. Very nice, very nice. And um, I already have a Bible. That's why I'm just keeping this one, you know, crispy and clean until I'm ready to open it. But um, yes, my grandma gave me this. And then my mom, she, um, I think she gave me this card. Yeah, I've been so kind, and then she wrote me that. My grandma wrote a whole book. <laughs> oh yeah, this is from my mom. 
words of encouragement. If it wasn't for her, my kids probably wouldn't have had no food. I would have had to go to the grocery store. <laughs> and they're dying. And I'm not even supposed to be in there. Like, if it wasn't for her, I, I wouldn't have had a lot of things. I wouldn't have been able to quarantine for the full 10 days. So, I'm very thankful for her and her concern. And my father hit me up and checking on me. Um, and just the family, you know, really checking on me and hit me up and make sure I was good. But COVID is nothing to play with. Make sure y'all wear your mask. This is very serious. Um, think about getting the vaccination. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that yet or not. I'm, I'm kind of iffy about it. But, um, these firefighters, these um, people just walking around in the grocery store, just free, the workers, no masks. They just free because they got their vaccination. So <laughs> I'm kind of jealous of that. Like y'all free of the mask and I want to be like that. So I don't know if I want to get it or not, but it just feels good to, you know, finally so I'm starting it back. Like I, I could taste a little bit, I could smell a little bit, but it's like not the same. And um, I'm also, I also get really hot and um, sweating, like even if I go to the grocery store. I used to get hot flashes because of my birth control. So now I'm, um, this just made it 10 times worse. Like I will be dripping sweat, like dripping sweat, just going to the grocery store. So um, I'm hoping that will pass. I'm hoping my fatigue will pass and I'm hoping that my taste and, you know, my smell will come back how it used to be. So y'all just pray for me that i get my senses back and that i get more energy because i love to do i love to do videos and hair videos and get dressed up and not look like this <laughs> and i just i just haven't been feeling like it like it's just it's just taking a toll and this is going on like the third week and monday i want to start back work if i'm able to you know if i'm feeling better but uh yeah I just saw my hospital band. <laughs> Woo. Crazy, crazy, man. But yeah, I'm just so glad it's over with. That I survived it. I've been looking at the long hauler videos um, and they have symptoms like mine, like uh, just fatigue. Like they can't walk like or run or, you know, as long as they used to and to the extent they used to. And I'm starting to think that I may be a long hauler with the fatigue and the uh, not being able to do all the things I used to do. So I'm just gonna keep on taking my vitamins, my chlorophyll, my oil of oregano, and just pray that things get better for me and <laughs> my body just fully, fully recovers. Cause now I just feel like I'm like 90, 85, 90% back to myself not a hundred and i'm going on my third week so y'all just pray for your girl <laughs> and if you have this i pray that you get through it um just stay strong for all my single mamas out there you can do it if i did it you can do it especially if you have you know family that can drop stuff off at the door for you um and you know help you along the way so thank you guys for watching listen to me rant i'm I was i know i was all over the place i know i was all over the place like <laughs> <laughs> but i just thank you guys for watching please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the family i should start back posting videos hair videos and maybe vlogs i'm thinking about getting into vlogs um soon of a single mom and all that good stuff so i'll do an update in about a month or two and let y'all know if i get my senses back and stuff like that but yeah thank you guys for watching her name is tattooed curls i'll catch you on the next one Peace.